Hi guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a quick video to show you how to set up ICT Fibonacci retracement settings on TradingView. As you know, Michael has its own settings for the Fibonacci and I would like to show you how to recreate the same settings as he is using. As you guys probably know, I'm doing the ICT Mentorship 2022 and at one point, at episode 8, he talks about the fact that looking at the price of a specific day and at the range of that day, we ask ourselves, how do we know where the price will actually be going? And if we look at that day only, it's practically impossible to really understand that. The price is not trading into something specific, such as a fair value gap or an imbalance. And the price in that case doesn't have a specific range. Instead, it has an expansive nature. It is making an expansive move. So when we want to know where the price will be targeting next, if we actually look at higher time frames, we're going to be able to understand it quite easily. But if we don't want to do that for whatever reason, or if we want to double check that that is correct, we can always use the Fibonacci retracement. The Fibonacci retracement shows us directly what price level we should be targeting. But as you know, ICT has its own way of doing things and he has its own settings on the Fibonacci. First things first, open trading view. And if you don't have it yet, I have a link for you here in the description below. And then open a chart. For example, open a currency pair. As I'm trading Forex, I always have a currency pair open somewhere. Then go on the see more on advanced chart and click there. Now, after your advanced chart has been open, go on the menu on the left. And from the top, select the third tab. It looks like this. And when you do it, you're going to be able to select FIB retracement. After you have clicked, your FIB should be ready to be draw down. So just draw down a Fibonacci retracement anywhere on your chart and we're going to be ready to go. Select and click on the dotted line. And after you click on it, you should have a menu that appears and you should be clicking on settings. When this menu appears in front of you, in the top you should see style and you should click on that. You should scroll down and come to levels and where you see levels it should be selected and you should choose their percents. This is very important, many people forget to actually make this little but crucial change and then it doesn't look good. So guys, remember to do this. Levels, percents. Now scroll back up and you are ready to set up your coordinates. So look at it here. On the left side we have 0, 0 0.618, 0 0.705, 0 0.79 and 1. On the right side we have minus 1, minus 0 0.62 and minus 0 0.27. Of course guys you can choose any color that you prefer. I like to keep my graphs and my Fibonacci's very plain and use black, white and sometimes in this case red. And you're good to go. Of course, for the ICT Fibonacci retracement, different levels have different meanings. As you can see here, for example, the minus 27% is target 1 and minus 62% is target 2. The optimal trade entry is at 70.50% and the zero level is the first profit or scaling. To see more about these settings and what they actually mean, you can either use the PDF that is linked down below or the ICT original video that I'm linking here and showing you a screenshot of how it actually looks like. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next episode.